Hello everyone, today we will be making very cute owl. I have done owl previously but using different um, yarn, so today I will try it with the Himalaya velvet. Previously I made this girl <laughs> and today we will be experimenting with different one. So uh, what do you need? You need two velvet yarns, some filling for the nose and a color for your nose like always scissors i am using size 5 crochet hook two eyes and needle so let's get started i'm gonna start with the yellow yarn i will put everything away what i don't need for now okay. and traditionally like most of the toys will start from uh, uh, magic green. Magic green, where is the front? Okay. One, two, three, and go. Yes. And inside magic green, I'm gonna play six single stitches. One, two, I'm gonna tighten up the end and go two single stitches in each chain so it's gonna be one two three four the same one five and six to the another one which is five six next one seven eight nine ten and two more eleven and twelve so that way we made a full circle of twelve single stitches and now I am gonna make okay where is it it's not here okay uh, so if I don't have marker I like to make my yarn here through the hole so I know when I started and when I'm gonna finish so now we're making one crochet in and one increase one in one increase so let's go one and in this one two of them so it's gonna be two and three and again one and another one is two one and two and where is it one and two one Two. next one is one and again two and we're doing all the way till the beginning of the circle one and two again one and in the last one remove it and goes two again so the another circle we still keep increasing um yeah so i'm gonna place my <laughs> marker how i call it marker yeah get in get in get in come on okay and we will increase two two single crochet increase two single crochet increase and we do all the way so it will be one to get in increase and one two increase increase all right 
and I will see you at the end of this round. Right, so now the same way how I made here to make sure that there is some this line we will be doing the uh, single crochet on the outside loop only so I'm gonna change the yarn for the white one and we'll do single crochet three increase an outside loop only um, if you would like to have a um, easy transition you might finish off nicely this way and then add one uh, single crochet at top of it and start new color to avoid this kind of transition but I'm not gonna to do that now it takes too much time so I will just change the yarn Okay, I will change the yarn. I'm not cutting this one, I'm just adding the white. Okay. So in this case, I will remove the last piece and I put my, and then I am placing this one inside this loop and I have a white one also. You might need to tighten a little bit because it can get loose. Okay, and we are going now three single crochet and increase. So it's one, oh sorry, it's the back loop, my, my wrong. So back loop, one, again back, two, three, and increase. Again, one, two, three, and increase. And you will make all the way till the end and I see you at the end of the round.
right so this round is ready it's done you can see then it's the back loop everywhere and another round will be you might put a marker here or it's actually in my in my situation is visible where i started so i don't need to do that so next uh, round will be just single crochet full around so let's do this this time just normal not back loop just full full chain one two Okay, when you finish till the end, make one more round single crochet. So uh, after yellow, we done a back loop, uh, decreasing three times, and then make two single crochet round around. And I see you at the end of the round. All right, so now we are changing the color again. I'm taking the yellow. Okay, yellow is already connected here so what I'm doing I like to do this way always the last loop goes from yellow okay tighten tighten a little bit and now I will do single crochet four and increase so I want a little bit more increase this body <laughs> okay let's go one two, three, four, and increase, two, crochet, single crochet, new one, loop, one, two, three, and four, and two in one. All right, so make all around and I'll see you at the end of this round. All right, full round is ready. So what I do now, we will do two rounds of single crochet with yellow. So let's start it. All 
right and I'm gonna see you at the end of rounds if you do two, two rounds of it so what we have done so far uh, we have done the bottom of the body then we done three rounds of white and three rounds of yellow now we go two rounds white and two rounds yellow so again we need to change the color remove this piece and i'm inserting the white one come and get in get out get out get out where are you oops okay and now i'm taking white inside white goes in and i will do two rounds of single crochet all around so let's keep doing it three four five six and let's make all around two rounds and i see you at the end of the second white round it's time to change the yarn again for the yellow and we make two rounds of single crochet around so i'm adding yellow here tighten this color and tighten yellow and we're going another two more rounds of single crochet around so so that's how it goes and i will be back at the end of rounds when you finish two yellow rounds the last uh, the last um, the last round uh, will be white so it's the we changing again for a white one which is here I am placing the white color here and this time we're gonna reduce a little bit to make a right shape a little bit profile the shape of the body so we will do decrease and four chains decrease and four chains or four chains decrease depends how you like sorry a single crochet not not chains okay so we go one two three four and invisible decrease which means you using only front piece of the chain go through two and one and again one two three four and invisible decrease Make sure that this loop is not going too big. Don't overstretch this one because it's not gonna do any job for you. So one, two grab front, inside a one and two. And yes, let's make it all around. So one, two, three, four, and decrease get in get in get in decrease okay one two three four and decrease i am using my hook this way not this is sometimes in some yarns it doesn't want to go like that so i'm just lifting it up this way it's most of the time is easier one two three and four and decrease still can make decrease here all right 
tighten. Okay, so the last change of color, we will go yellow and we'll do all the way yellow from here. So I am placing here, taking my yellow color and with yellow, we will do single crochet all around. So we go single crochet all around. The body gets a little bit better profile, better shape now when we make it slimmer. Okay, so yes, you will do all around single crochet, but uh, we can remove the white color now because we're not gonna need it anymore. And yeah, you can cut it from here. We can cut it a little bit longer from here. And to make sure then it's not, yeah, then it's not coming out the thread. You can take your needle and a little bit hide inside the toy, inside the body. Come on, come, 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 come. Okay, so yeah, you can do a little bit this way. It's gonna be more secure. It doesn't need to be really very precise. Just make it hold. Yes, that's it. And you can leave it inside. You don't need to cut it and keep doing till the end single crochet of yellow. I think we're gonna make one, two, three. Three single crochet rounds and I see you at the end. All right. Now it's time to little bit decrease because body is too straight. So we will do single crochet and three decrease. So we go one, two, three, and we decrease again. One, two, three, Decrease one, two, three, decrease. Wait, 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 something happened. Two and then decrease. Okay. One. Two, three, decrease. One, two, 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 three, decrease. Okay, till here. One. Three decrease is done but now we want this body be a little bit more flat so what we're we gonna do we're gonna do decrease here and here and single crochet here so if I have a half the way this is back this is front so I need to go till here single crochet till here we decreasing on the sides and we go single crochet here so if I hold it flat and we go single crochet here, there, and inside here I will increase, increase, sorry, decrease, decrease, that's the bad one, decrease, we're going down now, decrease, We can actually decrease twice 
here decrease second one two in the row and then go again single crochet till the end till the end okay single crochet one more one more and single crochet till the end smaller size here so next one we do one one single crochet around okay let's go Let's see how it looks so far so far is there we might make one more single crochet and then we little bit increase little bit increase still here so let's do one more round around with single crochet Alright, we are at the end of single crochet round. So now what we do, we increase a little bit. We increase to make ears. So same like before, you need to find where is your front of the back. This is my back, this is my front. So we increase only on the sides to make it keep it flat. Because if I increase all the way, it's gonna be all the way open and we need flat so we go to the side with single crochet side of the body and uh, on the side we are gonna to do two single crochet in one stitch and the single crochet is two in second one and then till the end of this side we go single crochet to the other side. Okay. Oi, oi, come, come. Okay. Okay. 
we are nearly there it comes quite fast i think so yes we are on the side and again two in the one and two in the second one and single crochet to the end of your back okay okay i'm at the back this is my last one so let's see how it increase all right so we're gonna make one more single crochet round all around Alright, so this is my last stitch here at the back, but because we need to stitch it at the end together, so we need to go till the end with single crochet. So we go till the end. One more. Okay. Okay, so body is ready. They go eyes, they go. Okay, so now what we do, we need to put our filler, whatever you have to fill the body in. So. depends of how firm you want to have your owl that's how much filler you put in I like my toys a little bit softer I don't like very firm toys so I'm always putting less but in the other toys it's kind of issue because if you put less it's the head is <laughs> wobbly <laughs> I never done with the velvet yarn, so this is my first trial. We'll see how it goes. The previous previous owl, the blue one, is made from uh, aran aran yarn. Yeah, so it's very very strong, very tough. Mm. We'll see how this one gonna look like. But I think I want this one soft to be like hug huggy huggy for sleeping. Very very cute, very soft. So I don't want really stuff a lot here. This is my back, this is my front. I think it's enough. I don't want to put more inside. I will profile later on. You can profile later on. So we're gonna close it up now with single crochet. Simple, simple, and we're nearly there. Okay, so you go one and two. 
again second This one is more tricky one, but we cannot leave it. Get in. Get in, get in, get in. Okay. So, yeah. There we are. We have our owl body. Now we need the wings, eyes, nose, and ears. So, okay. Let's cut the yarn. We're not gonna need this one for a while. You remove this one, tighten up, and take your needle and hide the yarn a little bit secure. So I like to put it first here and then there and you go with okay you put it here okay make it not very tight and then I like to see when the yarn is going if I put here it will be quite visible so I need to go with this one so if I put it again here you see you cannot see that and now, where is go there? This side. Okay. Where is the next one? Here, for example. Okay. can guess eyes are very easy it's just circle plain circle your color I'm making my white you can choose whatever so let's start from the magic ring magic ring get in get in get in get in oh, God, it's moving yes it's in okay and do five one two, three, sorry, six, four, five, and one more, six, that's it, we tighten up, tighten up, and then we go into the first loop, and each loop two times, inside so we go one two three four five six seven Seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. White yarn is very tricky because you cannot see anything here where you should go 
Okay, so this is our first one. Okay, I can put my st stitch mark, my stitch mark inside. So I don't like really this this professional stitch marks. They really bothers me. It's uncomfortable to work with them. Okay, so now we do one stitch, single stitch, and increase. So we go one. Get in one and increase one again. Oh, I don't like white one, you cannot see what you are doing again. One and increase. one and increase one and increase one and increase one we might need one more for the eye I think this one is still too small I will put my very fancy stitch mark very expensive <laughs> and we do two two, cha two, 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 two two single crochet and increase so let's go one two eye is right but I think yes it's right so you need to make the second one the same and then we'll place this one here all right Oi. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. so because of this one we need to little bit reduce this uh, big size so next one we go slip stitch all right take it off Cut the yarn, remove this element, a little bit tighten, and I still like to go there. And I like to go at the back of the skip one and at the back of the second one. You put it in, it's smoother transition, how you can see. And go back to the first loop okay you don't tighten very strong so now you're gonna have nice nice shape and of course little bit hide it under the other places okay that's how it can be done okay and i need to cut it this one and this one you need to cut a little bit also to make sure it's not coming out so that's good. 
make it two of them and we will go beautiful okay now when we have a two eyes ready we're gonna play safety eyes so i am gonna place them in one two after second row somewhere here one and two and there and our eyes will be ready to go so all right press it in and close up with the safety plastic Okay, and the second one the same. That's the easiest part of the job, I think. <laughs> okay, our eyes are ready to go. Our eyes gonna be nicely here. I like big eyes. I think this time I'm not gonna stitch them flat, probably. I'm gonna leave them a little bit like standing out because this one they didn't come out really very well they are stitched and i don't like them so that's why i'm experimenting and trying to the other option when i stitch this circle inside so this one is a little bit standing out we will see how it goes now it's time to make the wings Previously, I made a double wing, so I crochet two different circles and I stitch them around. But these wings are very hard, very difficult to assemble. They are just, I just don't like them. So this time I will make just single circle and I want to make them longer, like hanging ones. I think it's gonna be completely different look than this one. Okay. Let's Okay, let's start from the magic circle. We go, we go, here we go, come here. There, there, and there. Okay, and we do six loops here, or single crochets, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, with Himalaya yarn, you need to be very, very gentle to closing up this loop because this yarn like to break it. All right, so we go now two single crochet in each chain. So we go one, two, it will be 12 in total. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, this is twelve. Our base. I'm gonna put my stitch mark, of course, here. Get in. All right. So then we start from single crochet increase single crochet increase okay single crochet increase single crochet increase so i will not be doing full full wings on the video now but make exactly as we done eyes eyes we made um, mm, increase we increase single crochet uh two times two single crochet increase so the wings will make a double so keep making it till you have single crochet four and increase and then i will see you at the end what we're gonna be doing Okay, now sometimes it's happening in your squares, like 
sharp edges so it's just a knot if you stretch it nicely so you're gonna have a nice circle and it is sorted actually all right so what are we gonna do now we need to little bit fold it and stitch it together slightly at the end because the wing will be connected somewhere here and to make sure then it's easy easy to connect it here it's better stitch little bit this triangle here so it's it's easier later on assemble the wing yeah so let's do this now we might leave a little bit more yarn Okay, take the out this piece. Okay, fold it and get your needle. Okay. All right, and just make few simple, make it a few thing, simple stitches here around very very light ones not too strong because this yarn is gonna be fold will look too tight second Probably four should be enough. Yeah, and that's it. Leave it for now, and then we use this piece. Do not cut it. We'll use this piece to connect the wing to the body. Okay. So make another one, and then. We will start assemble probably yeah yes so those are two options for the wings this is my first one but uh, then i was thinking that maybe with white one will be more interesting more vibrant so i think i will go with white option i think it's it's less boring yeah i think it looks much much better so this first one only yellow is made of uh, from one to four times decreasing crochet on yellow and this one is yellow three till three single crochet and decrease and four single crochet and decrease is white so it's exactly the same you just the last round you changing for white All right, it's time to place the eyes now. So I'm gonna place the eyes something like that. For example, after first row of yellow, make sure then they are in the middle. It's a tricky thing to make them straight and align. Okay, so let's remove one. Uh, we left it piece of yarn here before, so we're gonna use it now. Okay, and I will make it stay in one place. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Take the big needle. And let's try to make it as seamless as possible. So let's try to make it there, not around, not outside. Okay. And don't tighten because it's gonna change the shape. So now I go at top of it and again under. 
because this time I want this piece be a little bit standing out. That's the whole idea about it. Okay. Now we go up. And again, here we go down. Okay. I think it's coming out quite nicely. Then again up. Right. Okay. And down. Right. So yes, that way make all I around then place the second eye around. You probably have enough yarn to make a both of those with one piece of it. If you left here some piece longer, it's, it's good. So let's place the two eyes and I will see when it's ready. Our huge, beautiful eyes are ready. We can lift it this part a little bit here. That's how we done on purpose. A little bit space so it look more 3d more interesting okay yeah that's it so now it's time to attach the wings right so we will attach the wings uh, probably somewhere in the middle of the eyes we start here slightly maybe lower like yeah like this part and here yeah that's the job we need to do now and when wings are ready the last oh nose left nose and the ears all right so let's do this we do have a wings already they are here now it's time for the ears. Ears, we gonna make very similar like those. But this time I try to attach them on the corner so it's not from the top, it's going directly here. Okay. Okay, so take two yarns, both of them. If you like, you might do different color. Uh, let's estimate the size, how long we want them. Obviously, we're gonna cut them later on, so let's fold it. Two, three layers, four, wait, 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 let it go, and probably five. Okay. Then we're gonna have a hook. We go inside the ear, maybe a little bit more far, not so close to make sure the last last chain won't break. And that's might be a little bit tricky, but hopefully it will go. And let's get in. Okay, not that bad actually. Okay. Okay, when we are in. Now I will take again once more two the same colors. Actually, you might take it to the same, or maybe I will take one color. I'm not really sure. Okay, let's try go take it off. So I will take it together a little bit longer. Okay, let's cut it. Become very messy here. <laughs> So I will try to get it maybe this way. Okay. I might tie the knot here because I don't want it be slippery, slip somewhere. So not as strong as you can. Get 
let it in okay okay that's good and just let the remaining piece of turn around everything is moving here <laughs> okay Find the space here, make it under. Okay, make sure it's tight. And now you can get in, like finishing the other parts. But this time it will be a little bit different way because we cannot cross over. We need to go back to the same all the same gap so we go in make sure you cannot see any color here and same way so your yarn is roll over around the feeling which you have inside which will secure it that's how it goes okay and here you choose your length and the cut how long you want it like hairdresser skill you need for that <laughs> and good scissors obviously not like mine which you can keep cutting 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 and nothing is happening See? okay let's go let's go let's go let's go okay okay they look a little bit different <laughs> than the others i think because they are much much softer yarn so these ones are standing they are st strong and this is soft so that's we can see the difference between two of them we can decide later on which one we prefer okay so the nose left to do obviously one more ear but I will go with the nose first I choose the orange color for the nose so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we cut the yarn. Get thin. I start mostly from the back or from the bottom, place it here. And my nose will be probably somewhere from here till here and triangle till there 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 somewhere here so we'll make this triangle here 
so I need to get in this place okay okay so when you take your yarn from the back it's gonna be held by your filling which is inside okay that's good and we going down to this place then I can go again nearby to this first place okay. go back I might be thinking about a little bit thicker yarn for the nose so it will cover better because here is the gaps I'm unable really to put it inside I can try but Thicker yarn would be better for this element. Cover this ugly area. I think I took too short yarn, I might add some extra. not the most beautiful nose which I done but we can work with this yeah okay so this is the final product what we have done 